So stats have shown us that it's been estimated that over 17.3 million American adults have been affected by depression. It's also been shown that depression is the cause of over two thirds of self deletions every year. And over the past decade, stats have also shown that self deletion rates have been on the rise with an average of 132 self deletions a day. So today we're gonna talk about depression. So today's video is inspired by a spoken word that I dropped last week about depression. Link in the description if you want to check it out after this video. Let me know what you think. I want to hear your thoughts. So depression can be a, <laughs> a depressing topic. So I'm going to attempt to keep things light, upbeat and positive as I have this discussion today because I don't want to be gloomy, right? This is a gloomy topic. Let's not be gloomy about it if we don't have to be. So there are different types and levels of depression and, and people handle it in different ways. For example, one person may close themselves off to the world. They might distance themselves from friends and family and just and stay in bed all day. And another person may seek to constantly be around people. They might want a distraction from the things they're feeling. They might need to always be doing some type of act. Activity. This is one of the reasons they say when it comes to mental health issues, you always have to make sure you're checking on your friends because sometimes you just don't know what people are feeling and what they're going through. Now myself, I'm definitely more of a stay at home or stay away from people person. Matter of fact, I'm that type of person just on a regular average day. Look, sitting on the couch, eating Thai food and streaming Netflix, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. That is my happy place. It's also good to note that depression can come from many different things, many different sources. For some people, it could be a biological thing where it's genetics or brain chemistry that are affecting the way they think and feel. It can also come from different social circumstances, living in an abusive environment, maybe your economic status in life, maybe being bullied at school constantly. And it can definitely come from major life events such as losing a loved one or losing your job or getting a divorce. So I know that when I was going through my depression state, it was because a series of life events that seemed to happen back to back to back that weren't positive ones, at least not for me. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of why exactly I felt the way I felt, but I will tell you this. At the time, I felt down. I felt low. I felt like a loser. I literally felt like a failure. I felt as though there was no way out. There was no way to fix the circumstance or the situations. And I, I was stuck. I was also ashamed of some things that I'd done. And this just kind of led me down into a deep, dark spiral. And my thoughts became even darker than they have ever been in my life. And just to be transparent, I thought about ending it all. I thought it would be easier. It was. It's like if, if, if I just went away, everything goes away. And my thought process at the time was like, well, I'll no longer feel bad or negative. And I'm sure that if, if you've been through that too, you understand where I'm coming from because you've probably felt it too. I also want to give you the context that I was very young at the time and that younger people are at a higher risk of self-deleting themselves. And I don't even think that I was in the worst possible depressive state that someone could be in. I know that others had it worse. I even can say that that's probably a lot more serious life events that people go through. But for me, it didn't matter at the time because I was going through what I was going through and I was feeling the way I was feeling. And I don't even know if I would have actually hurt myself. I, I really don't know. But all I know at the time is that I, I just had no hope. But obviously I'm, I'm here today and I want to tell you kind of how I ended up working through all of that. So just a disclaimer, I'm not an expert. I'm not a mental health professional. So if you are struggling with depression or some kind of other serious mental health issue, I do want to encourage you to seek professional help. And with that being said, I would still like to share my perspective and just how I ended up dealing with things. So I would say that there are three major things that kind of helped me through this, this state that I was in. The first was identifying what specifically made me feel the way I felt. Now, I know sometimes people don't like labels, but I think that when you can identify and you can point to the source of a problem, that allows you the start of being able to actually fix that problem. If something is wrong with my car and I don't know what it is, right, I can't fix it. But if you tell me the oil needs to be changed or the tires need to be rotated or whatever the problem may be, then I can go, okay, I know how to execute and I know how to 
go ahead and attack the problem heads on. The second thing was my faith. So I am a Christian, and when I started feeling these feelings and, and, and having these dark thoughts, I started to pray and read my Bible. And I just wanna share with you a scripture that really resonated with me and touched me at the time. So this says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us and far more exceeding and eternal weight and glory. While we look at not the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And basically what that was saying to me is that when we go through trials and tribulations, when we go through troubles, they don't last. And it's, sometimes it's hard to see that while you're in it. It's really hard to acknowledge that while you're in it. But if you can see it, if you can, if you can move yourself in a position to realize that this thing that I'm going through is a temporary thing, that gives you hope. So I knew that the pain that I was feeling, the hurt that I was feeling, the shame that I was feeling wasn't going to last. Now, if you're not a Christian and you don't buy into the scriptures and things like that, that's true regardless if you believe it or not. It's like breaking up with a significant other that you've been with for a while. It hurts, right? But a year from then or two years or five or 10 years, you don't feel that way anymore. All the breakups that I had that I felt bad about, I don't feel bad about anymore. They're old news. And so pain doesn't last. Trouble does not last always. So find hope in that. The last thing that I was able to do, and this kind of came through that scripture, was I was able to change my mindset. Being able to look at my then current circumstances with a totally different perspective was a game changer. Instead of saying something like, okay, I lost my job, you can look at that situation as an opportunity to discover something new, to work somewhere new, to do something different, to grow in your work, in your career. I know it's easier said than done, but these are things that I implemented and I slowly started to come out of that dark state that I was in. And I think that's another important thing to note is that it does take time. I didn't think these things or do these things and then the next day I was okay. It took months and months. And after a while, as I started to adopt these things, as I started to believe these things, as I started to see these things, I started to feel better. I started to think differently. I started to feel differently. So mindset played a huge role in that. So I just kind of wanted to share a little bit of what I went through because I mentioned it in a spoken word. And even though in the spoken word, I'm kind of writing from the perspective of someone that I talked to years ago, it is something that I kind of related to because I felt that way. So um, I'm going to put some resources in the description for professional help. So make sure you check those out. Also, so make sure you check out my spoken word. And again, let me know what you think. I want to hear from you. Feel free to share your story about how you went through your depression or even how you're going through it now. And like I said in my spoken word, if this is something you are dealing with and struggling with, I will be praying for you. So until the next time, it's your boy K-Soul. Peace.